go inside, little gun. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? You from one of the strongholds, Zork. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Orsenio. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For you. For the love of Talos, shut up soul. and let's get Earth this over. Learn. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Now! 
Up through the tower. Let's go! Like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take on your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. All right. Get that armor on, and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. This one's hard. Let's see about that gate. No way to open this from our side. Come it's on, the Imperials! Soldier. Keep moving! They cover! Get this gate open! Here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Damn, that 
dragon doesn't give up easy. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. The pops of the Empire! Stormcloaks! Done. Let's get moving. Troll's blood. Hear that? in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. Might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything. Let's pull and let's go. Orders are to wait until General Tully arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon! We need to pull back!
let's see where this goes. go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just make it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Sneaking is overrated. <laughs> There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We'd better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. 
you've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, we'd better get moving. Oh, I almost can't believe it. A real live dragon! Ulfric's capital is Windhelm, northeast of here. You'll want to talk to Galmar Stonefist, Ulfric's right-hand man. He handles the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word, if I get the Windhelm ahead of you. What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Right. The leader of our fight against the Empire. I forget that most people don't know what he looks like, except for those Imperial Wanted posters. I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing, in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us, as pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one, at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen. And you know the rest. We'd better keep moving. I don't want to run into any Imperials who know what happened at Helgen. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that. I guess you get used to it. These are the Guardian Stones, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Warrior, good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory.
Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking, alright? I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. I'd better get going. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. What is that blowhard up to now? So, he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. Good day. Now, Rail, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then... Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? 
Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. My sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Alfred Storm. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. I'm glad to help any way I can. Lucan over in the Riverwood Trader says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see White Run on its hill as you pass the falls. Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled White Run hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turig was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turig dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry though, Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. It's my meal. Some folks think it's my town, too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Aye. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For another village. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. 
Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, yeah, the, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. This way. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. This way. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child.
You're mine. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? <laughs>
Help me! Help! You! Over here! You did it! You killed it! Now cut me down before anything else shows up! Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? What was that?
I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me.
Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar, 
Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. He is the God of Mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. The Vigil will be watching you. The mercy of Stendhal does not extend to you. That's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane, up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. Codlac says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead, as ever. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlac if you think you have what it takes to be a Companion. I'll take my leave then. You look strong. Come to your Vasker and be a companion. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jurgen raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. All right then. Man like you needs a warhorse, I reckon. 
none of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like, once she's yours. Suppose so. Got one all saddled, if you've got the coin. Suit yourself. Ride strong. There's a nip in the air. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your basket. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Jorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Grey Mane or Battleborn. Then you're either a Stormcloak sympathizer or a fool. Either way, you're no friend of mine. Long live the Empire. Hmm? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are... legendary. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. All right then. Have you met? I help my father in more ways than people realize. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Mm-hmm. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor, and leave it at that. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything.
out with it. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. I'll take my leave then. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. I'm waiting. You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. All right, then. Isolde, was it? You know what's wrong with Skyrim? Well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach, then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Maids. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They're saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Ain't sure if they're taking on new members, but you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall, your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in mead. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. May your sword be sharp, and your tongue sharper. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh! If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. 
Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And a Nord knows a liar when she sees one. Farewell. Those green apples you sold me the other day were delicious. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Need anything else? Just let me know. Think you can go blade a blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city. Barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Don't forget to polish those glasses. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. Come on. Never should have come. Not the best you can do? Somebody help! Damn you. That's all you got? Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That, and a true Nord this never a misses a chance to test her worth. The Imperials. You've been talking to those companions? Today's Too hot-headed, they cried. The Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them! It wasn't my fault. I told them, over and over, that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess I thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. Let's not waste any time. Southern guard beckons, every one of us dies. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet.
What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. I don't have to take that from you. You're as good as... Come on, let's see what you're made of. You know how to throw a punch, I'll give you that. Don't let him get away with this. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. There's a whole college up in Solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Sure. What can I do for you? Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. <laughs>